Hey YouTube, this is Propel, and I'm doing a farming commentary on my Necro. Uh, this Necro is currently 2 out of 8 max defense and dexterity, and I'm 7 speed and 8 attack off. And that'll be 4 out of 8. Uh, this is pretty much standard setup here, nothing special. I usually use a soul siphon, but I just had happen to have an E-tap, so I'm just using this instead. It doesn't make a big difference. Um, this week, now that I have more of a max character, I've been doing a lot more events, so for this week's update, I should hopefully have more drops, which would be nice, because I want to put out the best videos possible. I've also been doing a lot more stuff with the guild. Maybe I'll put some of that up later, like uh, another wine cellar, or once I get a little bit uh, more maxed, I will do some more tombs, and then maybe I'll upload one of those. We'll just see. Um, I just wanted to do a farming commentary, because I haven't put up a commentary yet, and it's pretty straightforward to do. It's nothing really hard, and it's a nice change rather than just putting music in the background for a video. <coughs> um, I've taken a break from, uh, break from playing Priest for a little bit, which was pretty much all I used to play. Now I'm playing Necro, and I'm really liking it because you still have the sustainability because you have your skull, which is really great for farming in Godlands. But it's also good for... Um, you have more damage, so it's easier for you to get soul bound in on bigger things. Plus, I think it it was good for me as a player to not play priest for a while because when you play as a priest for a long time, oh, I'm blinded. You kind of get that mentality of oh, I can just heal, it's fine. Or is this? It's not just on demand heal, and then you know, some classes don't have heal the majority of it all. So it's nice. It makes you less. It makes you more focused and you can't just... Because that's usually how I ended up dying. Is I overestimate how, how far I can go in and not get caught to the point where I die. It'll be like, oh, it, it's fine, I can heal. And then I'll just end up getting shotgunned and lose a max character and then I'll be upset. But you just have to play more careful. Which I think is what it's taught me. Um, My bank. Let's see my bank. My bank went down after a bunch of priest deaths and but now it's starting to go back up i've only had this necro max for two or three days i believe and marty almost back my investment for maxing in the year which wasn't actually that much and uh i'm getting some pretty good drops and rolls with all that i got a Eminova earlier today from septavius so just, it, it all adds up of you getting little drops here and there. But overall now, I think I'm a better player after running through all those deaths. It, it's okay to die as long as you learn and you try not to make that same mistake twice. Like, it's, it's okay if you die from something once, but if, if you keep dying from it, it's just really stupid. Like, uh, for example... Had lately it's been stupid stuff in wine cellars, like me getting left behind after a bunch of people rush and me half trying to rush and being very terrible at it, so then me getting caught and dying. I almost had that happen like as of lately again, but now I'm starting to be smarter, not just be stupid and decide to run into all the minions and be like, oh yeah, I can just run through these, this is fine. And I can just, you know, go to the side, nothing stupid. But, um, what else do I have to talk about? I don't know. I have been doing a lot of wine cellars lately, though. I haven't gotten any tops as of recently, I don't think. Probably not. But, um, if I do get any, like, I, I want to get a good quality wine cellar where I get a top or something. At least, like, a nice, like, T5 something. And then I'll upload that. I just want to get like a good quality one because lately it's just been, you know, death pot here, vip pot there, stuff like that. No, I do not have items to give you. I own noobs. You are 
most likely a noob. Yep, you are a noob. Good job. Uh, that's, that's one of my pet peeves in this game. Stop trading me. It's one of my pet peeves in this game is people that go and sit in Nexus and beg for, like, golden swords. Which I, I guess they don't understand the concept, but in the time it takes you to go beg, in which nobody's going... See, he just died. That's That's karma. In which the time it takes for you to actually go and beg for something that you're most likely still not going to get. You can go out and get better stuff than that. Also, lately with life pots going down from 7 death to 6, there's been some bots that we're trying to, um, I guess, try to bring the price of life back up and other items back up. But um, there was a bot yesterday in US West 2 Nexus and some other ones scattered across Nexuses. Um, like, mostly US servers, I think. And the bots would be buying a bunch of things overpriced, like Bebo for 5, Griff for 5. And they were also buying a. Uh, they were buying life pots for 8. For 8 defense, which is pretty insane considering some people now are like starting to just continuously sell them for five. It, it's still pretty much six though. But um, basically what happened was everyone with the bots went to the bots and sold them their... Okay, this is... What am I doing here? Okay. I was just not paying attention because I was talking. Okay, what happened was everyone went to the bots and they decided to... Uh, sell them their life pots for 8 defense, and the bots would instantly trade. You, you can tell it's a bot, because it says all the exact same things, it's overpriced, and right, I'll just hop in here. And they, you know, they instantly trade you, all late selected at the same time, and PM you. 8 potions of defense for your potion of life? Question mark. And you're like, oh, okay. So, when you sold uh, your life for 8 defense, the bots, you could then go into US West and take six of those defense and buy another life and instantly make a two life profit. Or at least what some people did when they did this in large amounts was they just kept all their raw defense because they had so much. Like some people had like 150 raw defense, I think, which is a lot. And they then you can make a two life profit for or two death profit for each life. So that basically, whoops, I need to stop talking for a second so I can get past this, okay. They, uh, now overall I think if it was something like, cause it's a four over three return, cause of eight over six, it's the same as four over three. And so if you had something like 40 life, I think somebody did, that it turns into, 40 life turns into 53 life or something, so you make 13 life from basically doing nothing, sitting for like, they were only up for maybe around an hour, I would say. Well, at least this particular instance. I know they've been around a lot lately, but basically you just made 10 life for sitting there doing nothing. I don't, I, I don't think either it's going to end up doing anything to the economy because you need a very large amount money to make a difference just one person even if it's over a few servers of your bots it's not going to do that much it's all you're really going to do is just have people take advantage like what happened there because a lot of people they were just like oh free money here and it's not going to help the economy in any way really it's just going to make the people that didn't really particularly need more money have more money so just... let's go this, I, I always hate this, the next pots. I could swap out of the HP pot, but I don't feel like it. There we go. Okay, so I should have some more videos up pretty soon. Gonna have, today is Wednesday, it's almost midnight, so it's gonna be Thursday. Um, gonna be weekly update, should be up Sunday. Maybe another, if I get a good event drop, or start doing some tombs, because I hit 4-8. So then I will upload those. But um, that's about it for now. I just wanted to put this video 
to check in and put up a commentary. Uh, also, I want you guys to leave, especially on this video, feedback of what you thought of the commentary video. Criticism, please be constructive. Don't just be hating, because that's pointless. Don't be like, oh my god, this is terrible. Just be like, I didn't like this. Maybe you could do this. Civilized, please. And um, that's about it. If you guys have any suggestions for different type of videos, I got requested to do a vault video by someone, but all my money is kind of spread on mules, and it's just really straight life bots, so I don't know if that would be interesting. I don't have, like, all gear and stuff, it's just the life bots pretty much. So, uh, whatever types of videos you guys want to request for me to see, uh, just leave it down below on the video, and I read all my comments and all the questions and stuff that you guys leave and try to respond to them when I can. So uh, just leave them below, and I'll see you guys next time.